Hi, day seven of my split talk. Stacy, who is into gymnastics, you wrote me saying that I'm not doing the splits right. Okay, so have to have two heavy objects on each side to secure the legs so they can spread even more. You know what? This really hurts. <laughs> I'll get over it. Yes. So the leg, one leg, is stopped by the really heavy chair, and the other one is also held by a chair. Now I can get it sort of straighter. It's close to one line. <sighs> I didn't even do gymnastics this morning, I just don't want to give my back a bit of a rest. And yesterday's aerobics was full on. Why didn't you watch my market video, Thai market? It shows you all the Thai food. And, well, if you're not into food, I guess not. <laughs> not so interesting. Today, what news do we have today? Today it's sunny and warm as usual and I just had my big breakfast. Uh, yes, I could share with you some photos from my phone, like, um, what would you like to see? This is probably the most beautiful meal I've ever had. It was in Switzerland last year, really nice. I know it's not Thailand, but and then we also have... Uh, a royal helicopter in London, in Hyde Park. That was pretty cool. Let's see. It's a squirrel! And it's also in London. And it's me feeding the squirrel. I'm sitting too far from the camera. I don't think this is going to work, is it? Uh, that's, that's Lena in winter clothes. Yay. You never wrote to me what you wanted to see, so I'm showing you my old pictures. Okay, you don't want it? It's okay. Do you notice that the case is different? Yesterday was a purple case, today it's a, it's a stripy case. Well, that's because in Thailand, you're supposed to wear different colors every day, like Monday is a yellow, Tuesday is a pink, Wednesday is a green, Thursday is orange, Friday is sky blue, Saturday is purple, and Sunday is red. So you wear clothes according to the day. And it's my green shorts, they are green, I'm kind of... Uh, yellowy green, but they used to be green before I started doing yoga in the, in the sunlight. Today is the green day, yesterday was pink, and I'm a good girl, I uh, was wearing pink yesterday. And the phone, I have a um, few different cases for the phone, so I change it. Well, I try to change it every day when I remember. And yesterday I was wearing Saturday's case but today I decided to change it and um, didn't have a green case but this is more neutral at least it's not pink and then tomorrow it's going to wear an orange case yeah, maybe will I remember that? <sighs> Thai is... ah! I got an email today with a really funny story it was all in Thai, and I read the whole email in Thai and understood what it was about without even looking in the dictionary. It, was, it felt like a small victory. The story was, there were two monks, an older monk and a younger monk, walking, traveling, and there was a big river that they had to cross. Really, you know, no bridge and all the rough, rough current in the river. So they decided to walk across the river and they saw a young beautiful lady sitting next to the river and uh, the, the lady asked them, could you help me to get across the river? And the rule is that monks are not allowed to touch women. 
So the younger monk said, like, oh no, I can't help you because, you know, it's in his protocol that he's not allowed to touch women. And um, to his surprise, the older monk picked up the lady and carried her across the river and put her down and they went, went on and on. And then after a few days, the younger monk, you know, he just couldn't get it out of his head and he kept on thinking, oh, why, why did the old monk do this? Why did he touch the woman and carry her across the river? So he got really impatient and asked the old monk, Hey, why did you do that? Why did you carry the woman, although we're not allowed to touch the woman, touch women? And he said, You know what? I picked her up and I carried her and I put her down, but you are still carrying her. Do you get this? <laughs> yeah. And, um,. I like it. It's, it's very Asian. It's not something from Western cultures, and, but I guess it's closer to Korean culture than, than Western culture. So I think it means that we're supposed to let go of certain things. You know, when something happens in life, like some failure, or we're just not happy about something. Um, we should be able to let it go right after it happened and not carry it with us for years and years and years, like a grudge or or some problem. And, yeah. I tried to do that. I tried to learn something from the story. What do you think? Oh, I think that my legs are going to be very flexible after three months of videoing. <laughs> Quite a few people who have a video blog, right? Mm -hmm. I think after after ninety days, I will not want to give up because it's so cool to get your emails every morning. Very different and really cool and different age group, you know. I mean, Stacy, you're probably the youngest, being only thirteen, which is which is amazing, which is so cool. <laughs> and some guys. You know, they pretend they're women and um, they send emails, but hey, I, I know that you're a man, just don't pretend you can say anything to me. I'm very open-minded, I really don't mind any sort of questions or requests. And there are some requests to film, you know, certain things that maybe, maybe um, I could film. Who knows? So keep on asking. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine. And some of them, I just, I, I'm okay with it. But maybe I don't feel like filming it that particular day, or or at all. But don't take it personally. I still love to get your emails and be honest. If you're a guy, just say you're you're a guy. <laughs> you don't have to say that you're you're a girl. Wee. That looks like somebody else's hand, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, Stacey, this really works with um, securing the legs with chairs. Ow, ow, ow. Somehow it hurts on this side more than on that side. Does that happen to you too? Hmm. Ow. If Stacey is the youngest, who is the oldest? That's probably my grandma, because she also watches the videos too, and she's 75. And I bet she's the oldest. Although she always has trouble, you know, clicking the link, and always gets to the wrong place, and then can't open it, can't close it. But she's cool, she's cool. I talked to her on Skype. It's, uh, yeah, I only got my dad and my grandma, so no other family, really really tried to be a good girl and stay in touch with them and talk to my grandma for for hours literally on Skype. <laughs> yeah. Life in Samui. You also asked me to tell you about Samui, what's Samui like? Samui is a tropical island, just as you imagine it. An island in the middle of the sea with lots of palm trees and beaches 
and uh, don't really have anything else. Oh, I'm going to pause this. Oh yes, that was my friend, and not very good news. She just had a, a motorbike accident. That's the second friend this week. Yeah, because you know, in Thailand, in a lot of in a lot of countries in this region, people drive motorbikes and not cars, and car is kind of safer, I guess. But yeah, she just. Um, she drove into a car, ooh, or a car drove into her and had to have surgery on the face and for a girl, that's, that's not very good news, is it? But yes, on Samui, I heard that there are from one to three people dying every day in motorbike accidents and I've seen lots and lots and lots and I think all Almost all of my friends have been in an accident here. And it's really tempting to get a bike. First because it's cheaper than a car and then, you know, all the fresh wind and... and it's so easy to park everywhere and really easy to get around. And, and I was tempted to get a bike but then... Okay, maybe renting a car is a better idea. Please drive carefully, very carefully if you do drive. We don't want anybody to have an accident, do we? Okay, I think I'm over time. Oh no, you're late to work! <laughs>